In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on February 22, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Providence vs. Connecticut. Two ranked teams will battle it out in the Big East on Wednesday when the number 20 Providence Friars travel to take on the number 18 Connecticut Huskies. Providence is coming off a home win over Villanova 85-72, easily covering the three-point spread as favorites. Connecticut is also coming off a home win, taking down Seton Hall 64-55, but failed to cover the 11-point spread as favorites. These two teams met earlier this season with Providence winning by 12 at home. Providence is 7 to 2 against the spread in their last 9 road games and 15 to 4 against the spread in their last 19 games overall while the over is 4 to 0 in their last 4 games against a team with a winning percentage above .600. Connecticut is 2 to 5 against the spread in their last 7 games against a team with a winning percentage above .600 while the over is 38 to 18 in their last 56 home games. Connecticut is a good team with plenty of talent, but they have not been playing up to their expectations lately. Many had Connecticut as the favorite in the Big East but they have already lost seven conference games. Providence won this matchup by 12 earlier in this season, so Connecticut would need a 20-point swing to cover this spread. Bryce Hopkins has been an underrated threat in the Big East. At 6 feet 7, 220, he has the size to match up with Sanogo when needed and can score efficiently from the perimeter. Providence has covered six of their last eight games and has not lost by eight or more in any during that stretch. Connecticut has looked solid in spots especially since snapping out of their funk at the start of the calendar year but this just feels like a lot to give up when these two teams aren't separated by a whole lot. Providence also needs a win here to keep in the running for the Big East title. Connecticut may not be in contention for the regular season conference crown, but they are on the right side of the bubble and have a chance to play spoiler here at home. Providence has played themselves within striking distance of the title, and with this being their toughest test remaining. But I think Ed Cooley will have his guys ready for war. Stores is a tough place to play, but the Friars still have a real chance to win the Big East. So I like Providence putting up a good effort here in a contested battle they could end up stealing. I just think this boils down to a game being tighter than the line indicates. Nothing more and nothing less. These are too many points to spot Providence in this matchup, and this will be a tightly contested conference game. I will gladly take the free points. So the Providence Friars to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The total was set at 142 in the first matchup between these two teams, and they combined for 134 to hit the under. Providence has hit the under in five of their last eight games, and their tempo is only ranked 177th in the nation. Connecticut has hit the under in three of their last four as well. This is a game of closely matched teams. Connecticut has the 16th most efficient defense in the nation, and Providence has the 66th. Neither team will be scoring easily in this matchup. Providence will want to slow Connecticut down to keep it close, leading this game to go below the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Virginia vs. Boston College Number 6 Virginia will try to remain positioned atop the Atlantic Coast Conference standings when it travels to Boston College on Wednesday night. The Cavaliers have won 11 of their last 12 games since getting off to a 2-2 start to conference play, and they are riding a four-game winning streak coming into this matchup. Boston College was able to snap a two-game losing streak with a 75-69 win at Florida State on Saturday, but it lost to Virginia by 19 points at the end of January. The Cavaliers are 1 to 3 to 1 against the spread in their last 5 Wednesday games and 1 to 4 to 1 against the spread in their last 6 road games. The Eagles are 6 to 13 against the spread in their last 19 home games and 7 to 3 against the spread in their last 10 Wednesday games. The over is 15 to 6 to 1 in Cavaliers last 22 road games. The over is 16 to 5 in Eagles last 21 overall. The home team is 4 to 1 against the spread in the last 5 meetings. The Boston College Eagles are a bad team that's getting worse and I doubt they can flip the 
script against one of the best teams in the country. The Virginia Cavaliers win in the favorite role by an average of 11 points. Boston College looked better in the last game, but facing off against Virginia is a lot harder than facing off against Florida State. The Cavaliers' defense is going to lock down in this game, and that will be the difference here. Boston College is going to struggle getting past the 50 points mark. I just don't have much confidence in Boston College to find offensive success. So the Virginia Cavaliers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Boston College has gone over the point total in four of their past five games and three of the past four at home. Virginia has gone over the point total in three of their past five road games. Arkansas and Georgia currently rank 104th and 161st in pace of play respectively. Most signs point to a higher scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota vs. Maryland Big Ten basketball resumes on Wednesday when the Minnesota Golden Gophers travel to take on the Maryland Terrapins. Minnesota just lost on the road against Illinois 78-69, covering the spread as 13-and-a-half point dogs. Maryland just lost in overtime to Nebraska 70-66, losing outright as four-and-a-half point favorites. The teams met earlier this season with Maryland destroying Minnesota on their home floor by a score of 81-46. Minnesota is 4-13-2 against the spread in their last 19 games following an against the spread win and 1-5 against the spread in their last six Wednesday game while the over is 6-2 in their last eight games following an against the spread win. Maryland is 4-0 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a winning percentage below .400 and 4-1 against the spread in their last five home games against a team with a losing road record while the under is 7-2 in their last nine games following and against the spread loss. Minnesota has been the worst team in the Big Ten this season and will be on the road for this game. Maryland has won two of their last three games, but did lose to Nebraska last time out. Maryland has been the better team and should win this game, but Minnesota has been pretty good against the number in recent road games. The Terps have just been playing their better basketball at home this season by a fair margin, and while Minnesota's performed well on the road against the spread, I'm not forgetting about how the Gophers performed in those spots, losing to teams like Rutgers by 35 and Northwestern by 20. Maryland took their eye off of the ball against Nebraska, but this is still a Terrapins team that's trying to lock up an at-large spot in case they don't win the Big Ten tournament. Maryland defeated Minnesota by a score of 81-46 to in their first meeting, and I expect a similar result here. Maryland obviously has the talent to win this game by 40, but the only question is how motivated will they be to do so. So the Maryland Terrapins to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Minnesota only scored 46 points the last time these teams met. They do not have the firepower to put up big numbers from the perimeter, and their bigs will struggle to score on the inside against Maryland's front line. Neither team plays fast, as Minnesota's tempo is ranked 299th in the country and Maryland's is ranked 290th. Maryland has hit the under in four of their last six games. This will be a very one-sided game, and Maryland will coast in the second half with a big lead. Minnesota's 248th ranked defense will not score easily against Maryland's 24th ranked defense. The first matchup between these two teams went below the total, and this one will too. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.